Hi guys, Hyperlative here, the Norwegian gamer, and this is some gameplay from Homefront, where I'm playing some Team Deathmatch Battle Commander, or Battle Commander Team Deathmatch. Well, whichever way, and look at this death. Why did that hap happen? I mean, the grenade should be way down the stairs. Well, look and look at this. Oh yeah, <laughs> C4 and a Jeep. Um, this is actually one uh, a little bit funnier later on. Um, just to tease you, no. Um, what I kind of wanted to cover in this uh, video is actually um, something. Well, as you know, I I've had some issues with uh, fra the frame rate dropping in this game. <coughs> Excuse me, a sore throat apparently. Um, and it's been kind of irritating and annoying because I'm really enjoying this game, but with the frame rate not keeping above 30 frames per second even it becomes quite un quite unplayable actually because I have huge huge problems aiming and when I can't aim properly how am I to play properly so I've kind of kind of had an on enough relationship with this game where I've been loving the moments where it's been working properly and I've been hating the moments where the frame rate drops to an unplayable level and where I can't aim properly and can't hit people properly and just end up being frustrated by um by not being able to do or play as effectively as I want to. So, I recently formatted my computer because I thought I was having some strange problems uh, with different other uh, software and programs that I run on my computer. And um, just as it happens, <laughs> from, uh, Homefront actually ran smoother. I had less problems with frame rate drops, and it actually was that way for a, quite a while when I was playing it for the first time after reformatting. And then it suddenly dropped, and I was kind of dis disappointed because it had been so much fun for the while that it lasted, and I thought, if this is how it's going to be, I mean, I'll have to restart the game or reboot the computer at even intervals to actually be able to play the game properly. I thought, that's... Uh, I mean, I can probably live with it because it's such a fun game when it actually works, but it's, you know, it's kind of a hassle. So... Then I read on PC Gamer that there's going to be an update to the game. And I was, you know, a little excited. Because you know, it's, it's not only fun with updates, but, you know, it might actually fix some of the problems that, that I've been having. And uh, while it's said that it's going to take some actions against the cheaters, which I've been seeing more frequently before the update, that was good news. It didn't say anything about, you know, specifically running smoother on hardware I believe so I wasn't too hopeful then but you know I hope it was some of the things that it did, didn't specifically mention since it only like three three or four bullet points so I waited out I see today that the update is out today is um, Tuesday the 5th and I started the game and start playing and it's running smoothly so I end up playing for I don't know quite an hour hour and a half and I didn't have any problems so I'm just gonna take that as a good sign to that the game is now more or less fixed when it comes to frame rate issues other than that I don't really don't think that the game is really broken in any way I mean it's really well balanced I've watched a really good video from verbal I believe I'll link to the video in, this, in the description, where he kind of walks through the whole game, you know, and comments on every every aspect of the game, and I can only say that I really agree with him. I mean, one of the thing things that really I thought that he really uh, d uh, had a good, where he really had a good point, if you catch my drift, is where he says that the game doesn't have that many weapons, just like Medal of Honor. But in contrast to Medal of Honor, the, this game has a lot more customization, which a lot of people kind of missed in Medal of Honor. So it's kind of found that beautiful middle ground of not having too many weapons that have more or less um, identical uh, weapon stats and 
having weapons that are customizable because realize it when you've got two weapons that are more or less exactly the same where's the point and I know that some people are thrown off by the visuals of a gun but still really I actually watched a rather terrible video today uh, comparing the G36C and the M4 in Call of Duty 4. And look at this, he's trying to run me over. Not today, sir. Boom, goes the dynamite. <laughs> um, well, back to the point where he's comparing these two guns, and he's just, what he really surmises it up to is they're more or less equal. The M4 has a little higher fire rate, and that's about it. And then I get to the point of why even have two weapons that are equally uh, equally assigned the same stats I mean that then I, I think it would just be better with fewer weapons but they each are very distinct and very different from each other so that you kind of can get a preference you, I mean you can they can have higher damage plus lower rate of fire or lower da uh, lower damage and higher rate of fire and uh, you can kind of go w with what you want so for example this weapon right here the XM10 doesn't have the highest of um, the highest damage in the game but it shoots uh, it has a really high rate of fire so it kind of acts like an SMG and I really love it I really love it because it's an SMG but still an assault rifle well the Video is coming to an end. What I really wanted to say is, I'm really enjoying Homefront. It's so much fun, <laughs> and I'm actually quite good at the game, and that's a bonus, <laughs> of course. Well, that's it for now, guys. I go, what is it, 30 and 6, I believe. Well, I hope to see you next time. Snackies.